this question, we need to complete the table. And it's actually pretty tricky to get some of these values. Let's go ahead and look at this first column here. And we want to get f of g of x. In this case, x is negative 4. You can see that at the top. So how do we go about it on the first one? Well, we want f minus g of x. Well, it's really of 4. So we can go ahead and write the 4 in there. And what this is is f of 4 minus g of 4. And luckily, they tell us Oh, and it's supposed to be negative 4. I'm apparently not writing or not reading that negative. That's the value I'm supposed to be reading. All right, so what is f of negative 4? You see that right here. f of negative 4 is negative 4 itself. That's f of negative 4 minus g of negative 4. So here's the g of negative 4 is right there. It's positive 4. Negative 4 minus 4 is negative 8. And that negative 8 goes right there. All right, that takes care of the first. Now we're going to go to the second column. And what we want to find is f over g. And in this case x is negative 3 f of g of negative 3 and this is f of negative 3 divided by g of negative 3 and what is f of negative 3 that will be right here that's the f row of negative 3 is regular 3 and what is g of negative 3 that's in the denominator g the g row g of negative 3 is 7. And that's all there is to this part. That's f over g of 3. So that's right there, that last one. So we have 3 sevenths. Uh, and the instructions did say simplify your fractions. So my 3 sevenths is simplified, but just be careful. If it was like 3 sixths, I'd have to simplify it. I don't know what your numbers are, but just make sure you do simplify. All right, next column has two blanks in it. So this one's going to be extra tricky. So let's go ahead and write down uh, what we want to find. Well, first of all, our x value is negative 2. And we, know, we don't know f of negative 2. And we also don't know f minus g of negative 2. Uh, we do know one more thing, and that's in the very bottom, f over g of negative 2 is negative 7 fifths. Each of these columns has nothing to do with the column before so just the fact that you see a seventh in here that does not at all relate to that seven right there so each column is completely unrelated to the other columns if yours has anything in common it's just coincidence so we're only looking at this negative two column right here now so let's use some of what we know <clears throat> i know f over g of negative two is negative seven fifths and another way to write f over g uh, is f on the top, geez, f on the top of negative 2 divided by g of negative 2. That's what f over g of negative 2 means. Luckily, oh, this one is extra tricky. No. Don't I know anything else? Ah, I do know g of x, g of negative 2. I didn't write that down, thank goodness. I would have been in real trouble if I didn't know that. Uh, we know that g of negative 2 is 5, is 5. So I can now fill that in for g of negative 2. I still don't know f of negative 2. However, at this point... 
I do have enough information to determine f of negative 2. So let's multiply both sides of this equation by 5. Cancels the fractions out. Negative 7 is f of negative 2. So now I know f of negative 2 is negative 7. And that should be enough to fill in this blank. And what's that one? That's just f of negative 2 minus g of negative 2. So that's negative 7 minus the 5. And what's that? Negative 12. So that will go right there. The other columns are going to be similar. If you notice, they're each missing two values, and you have to use the function values that they give you, the 4 and the 2 for this problem, to determine what goes in there. The last one's probably the trickiest because they don't tell you f and g, but they do tell you f minus g and f divided by g. So that last one's definitely going to be the trickiest.